The panda love line is long. Oh, you just want to hold one. <laughs> <laughs> even the biggest Bayoun fans were not in the know. Have you heard the big news? No. What? Bayoun is pregnant again. You're kidding! I think that's a wonderful thing. We need all the pandas we can get. Some great shots there, that right side. On Monday, an ultrasound confirmed a healthy heartbeat, making Bayoun one of the greatest panda producers of all time. She's already delivered four healthy cubs. She has been an exceptional mother in all aspects. Carmi Penny, the zoo's curator of mammals, expects the new cub to arrive in a few weeks. The anticipated delivery date is sometime in early August. As we've seen in the past, that cub will weigh about four ounces, about the size of a stick of butter, and there's a slight chance it will have a twin. This time around, we saw two heartbeats again through ultrasound. We don't know what's going to happen. Numerous times in the past, a second fetus was detected, but was later reabsorbed into the womb. Although artificial insemination has been used in the past, the proudest of panda papas named Gao Gao likes to do things the old-fashioned way. Absolutely. Since Gao Gao came in 2003, all of the pandas have been conceived through natural mating. The zoo will name the new cub based on a Chinese tradition of waiting 100 days, a panda protocol we watched when Jun Jun was born two years ago. This is what she looks like now and is hopefully eager to share her bamboo breakfast with the new sibling. Oh, that's really exciting to have another one born here. That really is. It weighs just four ounces, but is already getting tons of love from mom. And all it took was a few squeals. Bayoun then just was like, okay, I'm in mother mode, and went and scooped the cub up um, and did all the things that she does to comfort it, started licking it. Born at 458 Wednesday morning, it's baby number five for Bayoun, and those who know her best say it's obvious to them she's maturing as a mother. Instead of figuring out, oh, the cub's crying, what does he want? Oh, do you want food? Do you want to, you know, do I need to, to lick, to stimulate? You know, what do you want? What do you need? Um, she's able to figure that out and take care of the situation much faster than she did with the first cub. Born this morning at 4.58 a.m., mother and baby both doing fine. Zoo employees shared the good news with visitors as they looked in on Bayoun's fourth baby, Jun Jun, who seemed more interested in lunch than celebrating a new sibling but the panda lovers here today were definitely excited by the big news. And Certainly it's a credit to San Diego Zoo uh, that they're up to this and they can encourage the breeding and we need more of that. It's really cool because then everybody can see new pandas coming in. It's cool. You won't be seeing this baby in person for a while, although the zoo does have a live panda cam up and running. In fact, it'll still be several more weeks before even zookeepers get close enough to find out if baby number five is a boy or a girl. And in keeping with Chinese tradition, it'll be named on its 100th day. Zoo officials say the baby looks like a pink rat right now, but add that it's quite robust and they're pleased with what they've seen so far. Question is, will this be Bayoun's last baby? She is now 17 years old. I don't think this is this is it for her, but she's she's getting to the end of what we would expect of her reproductive lifespan. We've been on an emotional high when we saw through our ultrasound that she was pregnant. Oh my gosh, that's the baby. That's the baby. This is the start or beginning of a new life and also beginning of the new home. In Chinese, Huamei, in English, China, USA. Oh, it's very cute. Well, I was a little shocked to see how small it was. It doesn't look like a bear. Let's see the heartbeat. They feel that we could have a panda birth anytime between now and the end of the month. I'm looking at the baby. We come back all the time to see the new baby. Very little, very tiny, very cute. It's doing fantastic. It's extremely vig vigorous. It's very energetic, very vocal. It looks really healthy. It's pretty amazing to have it right here in the United States. I think it's great. Pretty exciting. The important point here is that this event is becoming more and more commonplace. Here in San Diego, we seem to have found the recipe. Uh, she's kind of clumsy sometimes. Uh, when she tries to stand, she'll fall over on her face. But you know, it's like a little child learning to walk. They'll just get up and do it over and over again. I think it's just as exciting as when Shamu had a baby.
This little panda is our fourth cub, born here at the San Diego Zoo. The baby's name is Jin Jin, and it means precious in English. And she definitely, that name fits her really, really well. Very typical panda cub, but with a little bit of charm and extra energy on the side. Well, that's a lovely girl, a lovely name, and uh, I'm very, very happy. Through this collaboration, we've, we've helped turn around this breeding problem in pandas. Mm -hmm.